Nuno out, sorry in. What the hell? Welcome to your forest news. Good morning, good evening, or good night. Hope you guys are doing well, and welcome to your latest Nottingham Forest news. Coming up, we'll talk to you about this bizarre, crazy report about Nuno being sacked and Sari coming in. Yes, you heard me right. If you're enjoying the content, please don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to Forest Fan TV if you are new. All you gotta do is hit that subscribe button. It's completely free. So what are you waiting for? Because we give you all your latest Forest news first. And uh, if you haven't already, please don't forget to download SofaScore, the best football app on the planet. Again, a planet? Planet. Again, completely free for iOS and Android. The link's pinned in the comments. Get it downloaded. All right, let, let's let's jump into this one and then I'll tell you. Let, let me start by telling you all about it. So Alfredo Padula, I think I'm pronouncing that right, has announced that Maranakis approached Sari about a week ago to replace Nuno Santo at Nottingham Forest. This is, of course, as we know, Forest have been in a bad run. We've got PSR going on. Oh, we've got everything going on. You don't get much sleep these days with Nottingham Forest. But Sari has refused it. Let me run you through this report. So Forrest tried to offer a three-year deal for Sari, who came out and said no against it. Sari could have decided to get back on track immediately, exactly a couple of days after his decision to leave Lazio. Now, this was back off the back of a four-defeat, um, lo a four-loss defeat streak. And he basically handed in his own resignation. Wasn't sacked, but by mutual consent, they agreed to part ways. He then received a call from Nottingham Forest with the request to immediately take over from the current manager, Nuno. Nottingham going through a bad phase, as we know. Forest going through their four-point four deduction, etc. And we offered him a three-year contract with the promise of a major transfer um, war chest next summer if we manage to survive. But Sari sent the proposal back and uh, at the moment he is, amongst other things, he wants to recover his energy and get ready for next season. So, wow, bit of a bombshell. Now, firstly, I'll say I can't confirm or deny how true this story is. The journalist reporting it is very reputable. Um, he's got a few things right in the past. And I have asked the questions before you guys ask. So as soon as I can confirm or deny it, I will let you know. But let's get under the skin of this. And what does this actually mean? Firstly, if this is true, I am one million percent against it be it sorry be it pep be it Cl okay maybe not pep but you get what i'm saying here what is the point in rocking a ship that's already rocking from front to back right now to add a managerial change in amongst the mix would in my opinion be absolutely crazy unless we're in a scenario where nuno's lost the dressing room where there's been a falling out with him and players or maranakis or whatever then fine but why now why now with the psr stuff coming out with that still unresolved now that forest have appealed it how does this make any logical sense and if we talk about sari himself is he really the right person to lead Forrest through these next few games? Let me run you back. For those of you who may be young or can't remember Sari or have very little knowledge on him, he was manager at Chelsea um, for the 2018 season. In that season, he finished third. That was the year where Liverpool and Man City were just Wing their way through the league, ending up on silly amounts of points. And Chelsea finished best of the rest. In that season, this is probably something that you'll be, oh yeah, that was him. In the League Cup final against Man City, he went to sub off Kepa um, and bring on the other keeper for the penalty shootout. But Kepa refused to come off, ended up going in goal and then losing the penalty shootouts anyway. 
So there was so much egg on Sari's face, seeing a keeper refusing to be subbed off undermined his position as the manager, and it just wasn't a good look for Chelsea at all. If you remember it, let me know in the comments down below. But in that season as well, they went on to win the Europa League with a 4-1 win against Arsenal in the final. And I think that campaign, if I remember correctly, they were undefeated um, throughout that European campaign. If I'm wrong, as always, correct me in the comments down below. And since then, current, well, his latest job was at Lazio. Lazio sitting ninth in Serie A. As I said, no win in four, and he decided time was up. And he sounds like he's just generally lost his energy, club style maybe, this season. But would he, look, even if I would entertain Nuno going, which I'm totally against. Sari's not really the manager for this scenario and this situation. It's not the one. You Okay, you could argue, what, what do we need? A firefighter, Sam Allardyce? No, thank you. For me, Nuno can get this job done. I, I have full faith still in him. But the interesting thing in this story for me, again, if it's true, and as soon as we can confirm, I will let you guys know is this talk of a war chest in the summer, which really does kind of underline what we were telling you guys about the other day. And I think this confirms it beyond doubt, that Forrest will look to sell up until the 30th of June. And because under the PSR rules, which will probably be changed, but let's not go into that tangent right now, Forrest would then be on level playing field with the rest of the Premier League with 105 under the current rules and therefore have money to be able to then go and push forward and bring in some signings. But is this truth or is this just Marinakis trying to sweeten a deal for a manager who does have some street cred um, to come in and then promise him money and then we end up in another PSR situation? Who knows? It's very, very weird, this story. But I come back to it. I come back to it. Nine games to go with a couple of home games coming up, which on paper are winnable against Palace and Fulham. The focus of the club entirely needs to be united behind Nuno, behind the team, behind the fans, behind the stadium, behind the grass, whatever it is, in one direction right now. And whatever off-field issues are going on, save them for the summer. Don't air the dirty laundry at all. We need to focus now on the pitch. We've got a poll going on about, do you think Forrest should have appealed or not? 60% of you last I checked were saying, yes, appeal, we need the points. 40% are saying, no, focus on what's going on on the pitch. Now, although I'm in the camp of a appeal. Every point is vital. We really have nothing to lose. I do agree with the sentiment that a lot of people who have said no are saying. Now focus on the pitch. Football is won and lost on the pitch. We don't need the likes of Nick DeMarco to gain us points. Well, maybe that's the only way we're going to gain points this season. But we need to do, and I hate to keep harping back to this, we need to do what Everton did when they got announced their points. The whole siege mentality, the whole us against the world. Get it done on the pitch, force those wins over the line, and then put two fingers up at the corrupt Premier League, etc. And stories like this do not help whatsoever in that unity, in that siege mentality. Things like this are not going to help. So I hope against hope that this is all journalists trying to fill column inches in a dead-end international break. But this story needed to be reported to you guys to get your take on it. Get your thoughts in on this down below. Would you take Sari? Or would you would you be Nuno out right now? And if you are, it's your opinion. You're entitled to it. Just let us know why, as always, in the comments below. As we always say on here, all Forest fans are welcome. All Forest views are welcome. Just be respectful. So on that bombshell, let's send the video there. If you haven't already hit that like button. Please do so now. If you're new to Forest Man TV, hit that subscribe button now so you don't miss any of the new videos. We have another video coming for you this afternoon. That one is going to be interesting. You won't want to miss it. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you then. Come on, you Reds.